Hi guys, Paul Kirtley here, another short video on useful knots and one that I find very handy to have in my repertoire around camp and while making trips. Now on previous videos I've talked about joining two pieces of cord together that are of equal diameter and it begs the question, indeed some people have asked the question in the YouTube comments, people have asked, well what if you've got two different size different diameter pieces of cord. How do we join those together? What's the best way of joining those together? I'm going to answer that question today. We're going to look at the sheet bend and the double sheet bend. First though, you might be asking, why would you want to do that? Why do you need to join two pieces of cord together that are of different diameters? Well, a couple of simple examples in terms of campcraft. First one might be that you're trying to get a cord over a branch. Now that could be that you're trying to sling a cord up so that you can pull a thicker rope over the branch so that you can haul a parachute up. It might be that you want to get a bear bag up or a bear barrel or something up a tree um, suspending that way and throwing larger diameter ropes which might be the strength you need can be quite difficult. Um, it can be easier to throw a length of lower diameter cord particularly if you weight the end. Now you could wrap a stone into that or you could you can get those little specialist bean bags that are like hacky sacks filled with um, stainless steel balls that are quite heavy and you can sling and you can sling a long length of fine cord quite easily with that. People also use catapults to fire uh, fine cord and then what you want to be able to do then is to join these two together so that you can haul the thicker heavier rope up and over to do the job that you actually wanted to do. But first of all you need to get the fine rope over and then you need to join the two together. And so this is somewhere where we can use the uh, double sheet bend in particular I find very very useful. Another place I find a double sheet bend particularly useful is attaching a guy line onto a tape loop of a tarp. So that might be the tape loop of a tarp and I, that's a fixed loop and I want to attach a guy line that I don't normally have permanently attached. Maybe because I don't want it attached, maybe because it's not easy to pack that way, maybe because they get tangled and I might also want that to be quick release for packing down. So we can add a quick release to the double sheet bend to do that job. And one of the things about a sheet bend is it's not just about efficiency of tying on and untying, it's also that's what that knot has been designed to do. A sheet bend It's designed to be attached to a sail, something that is flapping in the wind is not going to come undone. That makes it great for attaching guy lines onto tape loops on tarps. So this is how we tie the basic knots and I'll add the quick release at the end. All right, first let me remind you what a single sheet bend looks like. So I've got my two pieces of cord here. This is the thinner one, it's a blue piece of paracord. This is a piece of uh, somewhat higher diameter, I think it's about eight mil. It doesn't really matter, it's thicker than the paracord. And here it's just important to think about where the tails end up. That is the tail there of this one. Here we have the thinner cord that comes up through the middle. I'm going to take it round the back like that and then across and through here like so. Okay so the tails are on the same side. Okay and this is the single sheet bend there and it's important that that grabs that you know you've tied it wrong if that comes around there, that's not going to hold. Yeah, it needs to be back there. It needs to be back there. So, if you haven't already realised, you are tying the thin cord around and through the thicker cord. Yep. So if we're attaching the thin cord and the fatter cord together, we are using the fatter cord as the fixed loop, if you like. That's just, that could, to all intents and purposes, just be a fixed loop. And that's the thicker rope. And then the thin rope is the one that's doing the work, as it were. So I'll show you the single one more time, and then we're gonna look at how we progress onto the double. So up and through, round the back, cross the front and under there and then pull that down. So that's a single sheet bend. All right now you can see that with this rope that's not 
it's holding it but when the tension comes off it's a bit loose okay so one of the things about the double sheet bend which I like is that it cinches down a bit better so let's have a look at the double so again we've got our loop here with the fatter cord we're going to start off exactly like the single we're going to come round go across the front but then we're going to go around again and go across the front again and under so we have this shape okay before i pull it tight so the tails are on the same side again we've got two wraps around through and across and then that just cinches down like so and that holds better i think particularly modern slidey ropes that we tend to use tails are on the same side that's nice and tidy there all right let's have a look at how we might put a quick release in that then okay so here's my fixed loop that could be a tape loop that could be a tape loop on a tarp it could be a fixed loop yep here we've got a, a bite of the fatter but we're always tying the thinner one around the fatter one and i appreciate the lights a bit difficult today there's very bright sunlight outside the woods and that's causing a lot of dappling here but hopefully you can see what's going on so we're going to go across the front so we're tying a double and what we did before is we went across the front for the double but here like a lot of knots to make them quick release we put a bite through at the end rather than feeding the live end through so I've still only got two wraps, but I've made a bite here. Yeah, hopefully you can see that clearly against the background. I know it's quite bright in the foreground there. We're going to cinch that up. That cinches down very nicely. A little bit of a pull there. And there's our double sheet bend. As before, two wraps, but we've got this quick release now, which means however tight that's been pulled down, I can then quick release that it ends up being a single sheet bend but loosely tied single sheet bend that then easily comes undone that's particularly useful for tying onto tape loops on tarps I'll show you one more time around across the front that's your single around again for the double and we pass a bite through at the end there trying to keep my hands out the way so you can see what's going on cinch that all up nice and tight and there's our double sheet bend with a quick release tidy well guys I hope you found that informative I hope you find the double sheet bend in particular useful it's one that I find especially handy around camp I've indicated a couple of uses there but I'm sure there are many others that you can think of between you and you can leave that in the comments below if you've used it and found it particularly useful for something it'd be good for me and everyone else to see that in the comments so I look forward to your comments let me know if you liked this video if you like this video please click the like button at least and if you've got any comments on the format please leave them in the comments below and if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to my channel really appreciate you watching this video and i look forward to speaking to you in the next video take care and enjoy the outdoors